I'm going to go over a brief listing of just a few examples of some of the things that if you're trying to study up women, you really need to study up on to make sure that you're going to be able to know, just get a small idea of the ins and outs of what they need in order to feel attracted to you. All right. So these are things like learning how to approach. You need to learn how to not be so anxious and afraid and how to actually approach women in a way that is non-threatening. Too many guys do one or two things. They either do the too forceful approach, which is, hey, baby, cutie, sweetie. Oh, my God, you're so hot. I want to bang you right now. Blah, blah, blah. That, that doesn't really work all that well. Or you have guys that do the opposite where they're apprehensive and want to be like, hey, so I just want to know, you know, how are you doing? And they get really timid about it. You don't want to be that guy either. None of those guys are doing good approaches, but you need to learn the middle ground of how to approach women that's not going to be so abrasive, but it's going to still allow her to be open to the idea of you uh, uh, contacting and communicating with her, which leads to the next thing, which is learning how to communicate with women. Now, when most guys here learn how to do better communication, we strictly think about verbal skills. I got news for you. Women live in a world where they do a lot of passive communication in order to get their point across. So if you're not able to read that when a woman says fine, that it doesn't mean she's fine because you're hearing her words, but not looking at what her body is doing when she says it, then you need to start studying up on what are ways that women show attraction and show disappointment and show anticipation and show anxiety. Like knowing those things in addition to learning verbal skills will help you immensely. Another thing to learn that uh, when you're trying to get to know women better is how to flirt. Women want you to flirt with them. And not every flirtatious interaction is going to equal her wanting to sleep with you. But flirting is a fun and vibrant way for you to be able to interact with the woman that's going to make her see you as a fun guy that she could potentially go on a date with. Uh, another thing that you need to learn is leadership skills. Most women across the board want to date a guy that knows how to be a leader and knows how to make a plan of action for her, for the relationship, for the potential family, et cetera. So if you don't have that skill, that's going to be an example of something that you need to study up on. What kind of leadership skills are women looking for? What, what kind of guy is a woman going to be more apt to submit to versus a guy that she sees and is just like, oh, he's wanting me to wear the pants. I got to get out of here. Uh, another thing you need to study up on with women is your hookup skills. Yes, you don't have to be like the dynamoist guy in the bedroom, but you do need to know like where parts go, what her erogenous zones are, what things are going to feel good when you press them one way versus another way, angles. All these things are going to result in her recognizing that you have enough skill sets to really turn her on in the bedroom, and it's going to make her want to come back for more and more of those things because knowing how to hook up with somebody is very important. Another thing you need to learn is masculine traits women find attractive. There are too many guys out there that unfortunately – I uh, grew up under either like single moms or in my case, my dad died. So I had my mom, my grandma, my aunt. And admittedly, if you're around that long enough, you start to learn some bad habits. And some of those bad habits can be very effeminate. And women are going to be able to tell that when they're interacting with you. And so that's unfortunate. It, it'd be great if you could be a guy that's like, hey, whether I'm effeminate or masculine, a woman should like me for who I am. That is not the reality we live in. The reality we live in is that women are going to be more apt to choose the guy that is displaying more masculine traits early on than feminine traits. Now, you might down the line be able to do some stuff that's a bit more feminine leaning, but for early on, you need to figure out, okay, what masculine things across the board are women looking for? I mentioned leadership earlier, flirting, like those things are examples of, can you do those things in a masculine way that's going to turn her on? Another thing you need to learn is grooming and style. Yes, learn how to put together an outfit, learn how to iron, learn how to style your hair. If you're, you know, I'm starting to ball up here, it's like I keep my, my hair short, but know what hairstyle works best for you. Learn about cologne, learn about shoes, learn about these various things so that way when women first see you, they're going to be more likely to want to approach you versus the other way around. Another thing you need to learn and study up on is texting. I have done so many videos and have gotten so many messages from guys talking about how they're texting a girl and then she starts to fall off. And the reason for that is, is that most of you do not know how to text. I have a whole book on my website called Texting Like a Boss, which is 21 Commandments for the Ins and Outs of Texting. And it's based on the fact that I also struggled with texting at one point. And then once I realized, hey, you know what? there's a method to the madness, then I was able to get better results to where now, even when I'm in relationships, I don't text all that often, but I know how to do texting that is um, important. I know how to do texting that's effective and I know how to do texting that can still cause a woman to be turned on, all right? So that's stuff you need to study up on. Another thing, emotional intelligence. Too many men get in their feelings when women are doing things or bringing things to your attention and you need to start 
working from a place of how can you better understand her emotions? How can you better understand your emotions? And how can you be less reactive and more stoic when things are going on. If you're a guy that freaks out because she didn't respond back to a text after two or three hours, I got news for you. You are not emotionally intelligent enough to deal with any woman because women are going to be flaky at times and they're going to be wishy-washy and they're going to ebb and flow based on their emotions. And if you're not prepared to deal with that, then you're going to lose women. And another example of something to study up on with women is how to build interest. See, men have this problem of thinking that you go on a date, you go on a second date, after two dates, you're like, this woman's hot. I've had good conversations, maybe a hookup or a kiss. She's the one for me. And our interest is already there very, very quickly after a couple of meetups. So we assume women come to the conclusion about us in the same way. And I tell you guys, women take two to three months to solidify their feelings. And part of that comes from the things that you're doing in the course of those two to three months. If you're coming to her after two dates and saying, we should be in a relationship, you have not built up interest enough. So you have to learn the skill of, not only building interest, but being able to read where her interest is. The great doc, great late Doc Love talked about percentages. He would say, he would always say like, uh, when a woman goes on a date with you, a uh, good sign is if it starts at 51%, but the goal is to get her to like 80 or 90% where you can do no wrong. So within that scale of 51% to like 95%, there is a long range of ways that a woman's going to act based on where her interest is at. And then depending on where it's at, you should know when to do certain things and when to be patient and back off. If you do not know how to do that, then that is a skill set you can learn. And I can help with that. You go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and sign up for one of my programs. So with that said, that's just, that's just a small amount of examples of things that you as a guy need to be studying up on as it pertains to women in order to get the results that you want. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning.